Ted Garvin won four Turner Cup championships in the International Hockey League, two in Port Huron, two in Toledo. He was so successful that he was hired by the Detroit Red Wings to be their head coach in 1973. He coached the Wings and uh, they were not good at the time, so uh, he had to do some kind of a press conference or something during the, during the practice and he, he just put some pylons out there and, and the Wings were practicing and so he, he came back after four or five minutes and he said the pylons were ahead 2-0 or something. So. <laughs> He only lasted for a couple of months as the head coach of the Red Wings. So when the Hornets folded and the Gold Diggers came back, Ted Garvin was chosen to be not only the head coach, but also the general manager of the franchise. As a coach, he was decisive. He, was, uh, he really trusted his instincts, and he knew what he wanted in a hockey player. What Ted Garvin learned as a player in the early days of the International Hockey League as a finesse player was he hated playing against teams that were physical and tough, the teams that could intimidate you. So what Ted did as a coach was he would have skilled players, but he would surround them with players who could physically come in and really intimidate other teams. I think we're going to have what Toledo people want is a, an aggressive club and uh, Players are not going to back off when somebody runs at them, and uh, we're very, very young, I'll say this, and we're going to make some mistakes, but uh, yes, I am. I'm quite optimistic. I think we're going to have a pretty fair hockey club here. He, he molded his teams in that way, and he was successful because he knew what to do with, the, with those kind of players. In 1974-75, this was an expansion team that was started from scratch and played below 500 during the regular season. They then went on to win the Turner Cup championship. He pulled a little mind game with them during the playoffs. We lost game six that year at home. The next day there was a practice prior to game seven in Saginaw. Ted Garvin would not get on the ice with us. He sat in the stands and chastised us. He said, you guys, you missed your chance of your lifetime. You're gonna regret this. You've blown it, you know. As a team, like we rallied against him, but he got a real reaction and, and he rallied the troops. They went on to win the championship in what was known as the Miracle on Main Street. Tactically, X and O's, middle of the pack. Motivation, motivator, getting the best out of the right guys at the right time, top of the pack. And there was no more successful coach in the history of the International Hockey League than Ted Garvin. He was a winner. He knew what it took to win. He also knew what it took to sell tickets. The fans loved him. He was the promoter. He's what made hockey go during that era. When, when things were, going, were not going well in a game at home, he knew who to tap on the shoulder to stir the pot a little bit and, and get the excitement level up. And sometimes it worked that we'd come back, and other times it just worked out to be a whole lot of excitement that the people left talking about. When the International Hockey League celebrated its 50th anniversary, he was the easy choice as the greatest coach in the International Hockey League.